So, most of the time when you're practicing combos, you're gonna be practicing it. Like, if you position reset, right? You're gonna be at the middle of the stage. So, if you do a B and B combo, let's say the season one B and B, you check what wall carry ender will get you a proper splat. So, in that case, a forward three plus four does not give you a proper splat. So, again, you reset, you do the season one B and B, and you change it. Maybe if I add RFF forward three. Oh, there you go. Now you get the proper splat. And you, you do that for all combos. If you do season two B and B, right? In this case, he's too close to the wall. He's already at the wall, but he will not splat there. So, what's an ender you can use in that scenario? And in that scenario, you could use something like CD3 to connect the whole thing. So it's more or less studying it like this. And then you can also change the combo. Like, oh, I don't want to use the BNB, so I just want to do this one. Okay, so that gives me the proper splat into the BNB. And that's like that. That's like not the only wall carry option you could use. You could use other wall carry options like down back 4 4 or. RFF 4 4. And you just have to test it all. And usually you'll be testing it from reset point. Now, if you don't want to test it from reset point, that's when you're going to have to move forward a little bit. So if this is the middle of the stage and you want to test the distance somewhere else, that's when you do like one jump, maybe two jumps. Maybe two jumps, right? Two jumps from the middle. And then that's when you do the combo to check what you need to do to get the wall carry. And it's more or less how you gauge the distance from, you know, in practice mode. 